here. All right. <laughs> Welcome to One Love, Dwayne Stevenson. Yeah? Well, man. yeah? Yeah, I'm good. I'm inside. I'm not in the traffic, so I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> is it like Jamaica? Is, is Kenya like Jamaica? It is, except that you have way more cars than we, we, we have. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been in traffic for? Have you been in traffic until you wanted to go back home? Um, not yet, but it's it, um, getting there. <laughs> You're getting there. <laughs> no, but you know, I've been enjoying myself. Man. I, mm -hmm. um, it's been a very interesting experience so to speak yeah you know so i have no complaints really all right it's been good all right what brings you to the country actually i'm here to uh, promote a single uh, that i have um reasons being the single was produced by a kenyan virgin um ken rings you know and his company massa music east africa it's based in kenya and in sweden yeah you know what i mean so he came we did the production in jamaica and i was in sweden actually shooting the video for the first single, which is Sarah, of his project that he has out with not only me but Christopher Martin and some other Jamaican Jack Cure and those people. And I just jumped at the opportunity to just come to. He said, you know, what do you think about coming down and you know just doing some promotions in Kenya? I'm like, yo, man, just get me there, man. <laughs> so it wasn't planned. No, not not so much. I mean, when we realized that we were, I was already halfway mm -hmm. to here. You know, um, I was looking for any reason to come here. Yeah. Because no, the last time we talked, and I was like, because somebody told me Dwayne is coming to the country, and I was like, but I talked to him. He didn't say anything about, you know, coming through to the That's country. because I didn't know yet. You didn't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but um, it's been a good vibe so far, and so far we've gotten a really a good love from media. I mean, sometimes you just need to go beyond yourself to come and support the people mm -hmm. that has been playing your music, you know, and pushing it all these years, and that's radio and TV. So that's what I'm doing, and hopefully to come back. Before the year ends, that's the plan to come back here for a full length um, concert okay. with the band and the whole thing. But we didn't do it before now simply because, you know, we're kind of watching the election and mm -hmm. how things pan out. Hopefully everything runs peacefully and civilized and, mm -hmm. you know, um, at the end of the day, the country come out better on the other side. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we'll be party. Yeah. Yeah, and talking of, talking of the elections, what would you what would you say to you know uh, your fans, your Kenyan fans? The election is coming. Um, there's a lot of tension, I have to say, you know, um, happening. What would you say to um, to your fans right now? You know, let peace reign, man. Remember, election is one day. It might be two days. If conflict in terms of you know recounts, it might be a week. But mm -hmm. beyond that. We have to live with each other for the all the rest of the time for the next five years. Yeah. You know what I mean? So True. Um, it, it doesn't make sense, you know, getting violent and stuff like that. It doesn't help anybody. I mean, mm -hmm. just inform yourself, inform yourself on the candidates. Uh, the candidates. I mean, think about the best interests for yourself, your family, by extension, the country, mm -hmm. and your care and mm -hmm. All right, so your biggest song... Today it is August Down. Yes, sir. I know I've asked you this before, but maybe for uh, the people who haven't heard the story yet, um, how did the you know, inspiration to, to write that song come by? Well, the inspiration pretty much came out from a conversation I had a, with a good friend of mine, you know. Um, but then, of course, August Down was going through its um, a turbulent period, you know. I mean, it was really, it was rough. And 
I just had a conversation with Bridget, you know, close friends. You know, we can talk. Mm-hmm. This is a man that used to be involved in many things. So we can hold a reason, you know what I mean? Bridget. So uh, I stopped, you know, and said, yeah, what's going on, man? You know, I stopped shooting people, Bridget. And I said, boy, you know, I said, Bridget, careful what God would do, you know. I said, boy, you know. Well, I fear God still no bread and thing, but you know, something I have to do, I have to do, you know, and the right thing, but I'm still a guy, I'm, sure I'm glad for that, and we, 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 and we, I mean, we had a good talk, and yeah. then I went off to do a series of show. I came back about a week later, only to hear that the day before I landed, he died, he mm-hmm. was murdered. That's sad. Yeah, but you know, it's true life, and I'm saying sometimes, you know, um, the brightest light shines through the darkest places, you know what I mean? So. For a son to August or for like August and can come out of a situation like that, something that has really it truly inspired so many worldwide and mm-hmm. who knows the amount of lives it may have changed. Hopefully many, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's one life for the sake of uh, the many that that are saved, you know, unfortunately. That's just how life is sometimes, you know. Yeah. You just have to learn from it and be mm-hmm. better fight and move on. Yeah. So do you write your music through true life experiences? I do, I do, I do. I find that that's the best way to relate to people, you know. Mm-hmm. Once you write truth and reality, it's very easy for people to be able to, you know, um, feel like they're a part of the song, you know. Somebody can say, you know, whether you're thinking about relationship or just um, the situation that's going down, know whether it be rough, a good time or whatever. It's always easier for me to write from life experiences because mm-hmm. then the average man can relate to it. Yeah. All right. So how long are you here for? Um... Basically six days. It's almost done now, um, unfortunately. And then I go back into the freezer. Oh, oh, I mean, <laughs> Sweden. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cold there. It's winter. Yeah, yeah, I saw you with your scarf and your yeah, jacket, and you came here, and it's summertime. Is this the kind of weather you love? This it's like Jamaica weather. Yeah, this is just like being home, man. So yeah. that's, that's good for me, you know, because when I was there, man, it was mm-hmm. great, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I coming from New York, to, go to be, and I was thinking, wow, New York is so cold. It was like 20. Yeah. And then I land in Sweden, Sweden. all the year, and oh, today is weather, and it's minus four. It's like, oh, wow. Jesus. <laughs> and you come to Kenya, and it's warm. Yeah. Yeah, Such no relief, jackets man. needed. Such a relief. Yeah. So you having a good time in the country? So far, it's been great. You know, yeah. I've been um, getting around us. You know, viewing the place as as I go from different radio stations and it's been interesting, you know, I've spoken to a lot of people, I've seen a lot of things, I've seen a lot of places. Mm-hmm. So I'm enjoying it fully, man. Yeah. Any plans of moving to to Kenya? <laughs> Not immediately, but yeah. I'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great place to come and stay, you know. It is, good people, it is. good people. You guys are good, right? Yeah. Yeah. You'd like Dwayne to come and stay and live in Kenya? Yeah. Look at them. <laughs> they would. You know, just because you're cueing them to see uh, No, 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 no. Seriously, <laughs> did you say that because I said it? You see? <laughs> Big fans. All right, so musical inspirations. Let's talk about that. Uh, musical inspiration. For me, um, it's, it's a combination of three. Uh, you know, if for me, it's Jimmy Cliff because of his worldly views, mm-hmm. of course. It's... Um, John Holt because of his vocal abilities. Mm-hmm. The man is just an amazing singer. Up until he died, he had a perfect pitch, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And of course, Peter Tosh because of his dance. Yes. You know, and, and what he stood for. I mean, you know, he's not always right. Mm-hmm. But if he decided to stand for his wrong, yeah, he stood for it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, but beyond that, I listen to all genres of music, man. I'm just, I, I'm a, a lover of music. Yeah. Not, not just reggae music. No, man. I listen mm-hmm. to all genres. I mean, I remember once I was in a studio session with Alba Rosie mm-hmm. and he was playing a, a song from his home, you know, he's from Sicily. Yeah. And this song was one hundred percent Italian. Mm-hmm. But I mean it was just so, so wicked that I couldn't get her. I said, listen, Alba Rosie, I need the song. Mm-hmm. So, What's the song about? I said, I don't know, but I need it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm that kind. As long as it has a good melody and it is a powerful tune and I yeah. will listen to it. Alright. Tell us about Sarah. <laughs> Well, Sarah is a song, as I said before, that was produced by Kenwin. Um, the whole production was done in Tough Gang Studios in yeah. Jamaica, by yeah. the way, you know. It's a song about love and lust. Now, um, lust not so much in the physical sense, mm-hmm. but more of, you know, emotional mm-hmm. sla- sa- slash um, spiritual. Because sometimes you're there in a situation, but you're not there in mind and soul, you know what I mean? So this is a song, it's about longing, so mm-hmm. hopefully it can really, you know, strike a note with, with mm-hmm. people that maybe going through the same situation. Uh-huh. So I know you said you write your music mm-hmm. um, with, uh, you know, real life experiences. So yeah. Was Sarah a real life experience? Well, yes. I have, I have, I have for you? No, not for me, mm-hmm. not for me, but I have 
a friend that was really going through some times with, you know, his his wife pretty mm -hmm. much, you know, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's not usual mm -hmm. that what people think about, oh, you know, maybe, maybe she's running off with some other guy or something like that. It was not that at all. It was that she had an addiction problem, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And he loved her, but then there was this push and pull, and, you know, sometimes that creates even a worse situation. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we have DJ Shix in the studio. Shix, I don't know, do you have the brand new song, Sarah? Yeah? Do you have the brand new song, Sarah, from uh, Dwayne Stevenson? Uh, not yet. Dwayne, why you do me like this? It wasn't me, it was him. Uh, who was him? <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, Sheriff, where's that new song? Is it coming? All right, so we have Sarah that we're going to be playing for you in a bit right here on Citizen TV's One Love. Keep it right here and don't you go anywhere. This mess. 